Hey guys and welcome back to Dieter Plays. We've got some more Roblox news for you. Just a couple of items to go over and some things that you guys have asked me to cover. Um, but before then, of course, as always, in this video, we're going to have 12 digits that are hidden. They could be anywhere around the video. I might say them. They might be kind of split up in different areas. I'm just saying, whoever finds those 12 digits first is going to get a free virtual item that comes with one of these Roblox toys. So the Roblox toy that I actually open is a Series 8 action series. It's called God's Gap. Galaxy. It's really cool. It has a Dominus, kind of like this cold developer, but it, it looks like cold developer, but he's actually uh, kind of dark colored and he's got like a suit on, but I don't know what the virtual item is, but it's probably something really cool. So whoever gets that, make sure you let me know in the comments who you are and what you got as the winning item because series eight isn't covered yet here in the collector's guide. So good luck with all of you guys who are searching for those secret items so that you can get that virtual item. And if you don't get it this time, then guys, I like to do these in most of my videos. So make sure you subscribe and you've got the notification bell on so you guys can come and have an opportunity to get these in future videos. And if you got the notification bell on and you're one of the first to come and watch it, your chances are much higher in getting that virtual item. When I do that, we also like to give these away during our live stream sometimes so make sure you check out those live streams as well so now we're gonna move on here to the news we've got this new hat that has hit the catalog it says here the approved top hat uh, in the description it says the users who wear this hat shows great strength and determination to get the job done now question is can you guys get this is this some it's obviously not one that you can purchase it is one that is granted to you okay so this is the approved top hat we're gonna go over the details and let you guys know actually exactly how you can get it but it takes a little bit of time and dedication so when this hit the catalog at the same time there's this thing right here the approved pin now you can see it's like the teeny tiny small in there the way that they set it up here in the catalog it's almost completely invisible when you do that uh, if you if but if you go to 3d and you zoom in you can still sort of see a little bit of what it looks like but if it's in two dimensions you can't even see it but it says top hat check pin straight and check let's get to business so what this pin actually looks like is if you if you were able to zoom in and see what it looks like uh, right here you see this little symbol this is the community editor symbol in the Roblox dev forums so the dev forums uh, have been around for a long time it's a way for developers to be able to uh, kind of discuss work through some problems figure some things out uh, go ask some questions maybe try to find other people to work with in their developments and uh, basically if you are in the forums depending on how long you're there how much you contribute and how much of a participant you are and how helpful you are uh, then basically when you first start there you have a role it's basically you have these different levels and you can level up and now it looks like if you have the community editor level then you get the check mark and you can actually get the approved top hat so uh, the top hats as we know on Roblox those usually stand for something and we'll kind of look at some of the other top hats and how, how those ones exist comparatively a little bit but uh, basically if you just go to the dev forums and you first sign up you log in you are a visitor uh, after you browse the forum regularly you become a member uh, after you browse regularly make a few posts go through some posts uh, post approval several times and abide by the community rules and guidelines then you can become a regular now if you spend even more time there be pretty active a highly appreciated contributor make it uh, basically be consistent in the activity on the forum and have a clean moderation history so they haven't had to uh, ban you or uh, or kick you or basically mute you because you've said or done something that was against the rules in the forum uh, but if you do that and you stay even longer in the forum uh, this one's invite only basically to become a community editor these ones are automatically given based on statistics and activity within the forum but this one right here uh, to become a community editor uh, you must be a veteran of the forum uh, be a user that has a high understanding of the forum rules and guidelines and a good relationship with the forum community basically you're pretty well known in the forum uh, you you contribute to a lot of posts you've helped some people out you've been there for some time probably over a year or even more I'm not sure exactly if there's a certain uh, time stamp but basically you get noticed by the moderators and the people over there in the forum and if you get to that point then you will get this badge in the forum then you will get the approved badge this little this little pin right here that you can put on your your character and it just goes on the front of the shirt and you can get the approved top hat so that is the way to do it guys is basically uh, through leveling up here in the dev forum uh, there's a little bit more information I'm gonna put this dev post here 
in the description of this video so you guys can go and check it out and see more of the details here of what you need to do because it kind of goes into a little bit more description uh, when you're a visitor and uh, when you're a member and what you need to do to go from a member to a regular and eventually a top contributor. This is what we're aiming for right here, top contributor, in order to get that hat and everything. I don't know, I have a pretty decent top hat collection. I haven't spent a whole lot of time on the forums myself though, so I would have to do a lot of work to be able to get it myself. Uh, but basically, it's a forum title and an avatar flair to highlight some of the contributors or com community. Uh, these people are active posters that frequently and consistently contribute to high quality discussion. As a top contributor, you can be invited to, uh, to be a community editor, and the criteria for this are roughly that you show that exceptional knowledge of forum rules and guidelines and have consistently high quality posts over a span of time that you've been a regular and you can lose this title by being inactive over an extended period of time as well so i'm not sure if you can lose like if you do lose the title if that means that you would end up losing the hat as well so if you do manage to get in there and you get the approval uh top contributor status uh then you can actually end up losing it so you still have to be uh basically part of of the community way is that top contributor actually i think it's what community editor is what we're going for so yeah and then community sage is just another level up of people who are i don't know if that's uh technically moderator or not but uh yeah so you can uh learn information about these different levels if you go through this little post which is going to be in the description uh what i think ultimately they're trying to do by doing this having the top hat and having the pen and everything they want more people to come to the forum they want more people to be active in the forum they want more people to be developers they're trying to incentivize people to be developers on the platform if they're just players and they want to go to that next step there's a lot more incentive to do that like for example like they just did the increasing premium payouts not too long ago so earlier this month they increased the payouts by 67 percent and that means like since they launched it the premium payouts have increased by five times so if you make games and people that just have the premium membership in roblox spend time in your games then you can make money or roblox or robux basically from doing this so uh uh, so this is a good reason to actually go and start thinking about putting together some games, guys. Uh, there's other hats in the platform that we've seen. Of course, Video Creator Top Hat is for the people who are in the Roblox Video Star program. And you can tell it's them. Uh, if they're wearing it, you know it is actually legit that person. There's some other stuff like this white banded red top hat. They've got this one, which is awarded to developers who participate in the monthly events, starting with the Roblox Summer Games 2014. So this is kind of a developer based one this one is one for uh for both mostly the content creators and uh this approved top hat here is another one that's more for the developer community so i think it's great that they're getting more stuff in there for the developer community in that essence uh another quick thing to mention should copyright strike music be replaced they were asking this to over two years in a poll and just recently they finally decided that if you have a piece of audio that is copywritten like and instead of removing it what they would do is they would replace it with something that would be com kind of completely different but now instead of like a potentially hilarious and unsuitable replacement players will hear silence so if something gets taken down due to copyright issues and it is audio then it'll be replaced with silence of course if you check out the roblox twitter page you can see that they are getting into halloween it's starting here guys it's starting people starting to put on halloween outfits they're talking about uh spooky little areas getting into the september pre-halloween spirit so i think it's a little too soon but i guess we're getting there we're almost in uh, to october so if you check the catalog you're gonna start seeing more things inferno bandana protectors of the patch like this thing that Bism put together uh we've got things like these ghosts and all that kind of stuff and we're probably going to be doing an avatar outfit contest on my channel that is a fall slash Halloween themed next month so uh, make sure you guys have your eyes open for the video that announces uh, when that's going to happen and hopefully you guys can show up for that avatar contest and show off some really cool uh, outfits uh, anyways guys that is it for the news today before I leave I just want to let you know that the last four digits the last part there's basically three sections finding those numbers is gonna be a little bit different this time but the last four numbers are four eight four one okay so we've got those last four digits are four eight four one uh again i'm kind of doing something a little different than what i usually do so uh so people you guys just check everywhere as far as trying to get those numbers and trying to enter them uh hopefully it's a really really cool item wouldn't that be amazing if it was actually like a dominus that, that would be so crazy if there's like a toy item they did have a valkyrie 
as a toy item. I think it's about time. Oh, we, they, we, they did sort of have the deadly dark dog in this, but that was, that was different. You had to go to a certain event and you had to get a special limited time toy. And then you had to get a chaser as a part of that as well. So that one was really hard. So uh, good luck to all you guys who are uh, planning on going and getting your approved top hats. Just go sign up, contribute, maybe uh, learn a little bit of development, get to know people in the dev forum. I know I'm going to try to spend some more time in there and say hi to some of these awesome people because the development community in Roblox is actually pretty awesome. Uh, anyway, so guys, if you are new here, would love to have you subscribe and hit that notification bell. And thank you so much for watching. We'll talk to you guys later.